Do you know what time it is? Why? It's time to learn. Painting spheres using primary and secondary colors, tints, and shades. I'm going to give you a lesson in art, Joe. This lesson is a bit of a color wheel review. Practicing this technique will really help you out when we're painting this year. First, draw four overlapping spheres. I drew my four spheres lightly, and then I had to invert the picture so you could see them. Paint in one sphere using the primary colors. The primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. Your palette will only have primary colors black and white on it. You're going to need to mix your secondary colors, tints, and shades today for this lesson. You're also going to need a paintbrush, a little cup of water, and a paper towel. I'm going to make my first sphere using primary colors, and so I'm going to put a little yellow on my brush to start. I accidentally put a little too much yellow on my palette. Next time I'll be more careful. Then I'm going to paint in some of the parts of my sphere with yellow. I'm going to try to make it kind of a pattern as I go because I want my spheres to look interesting when they're done. I'm going to continue using the color yellow on my sphere until I am done using the yellow on my pattern. I'm going to do it all at once and then switch to a different color. That way I don't have to keep washing my brush over and over and then it keeps my paints clean and not full of other colors. Now that I'm done with my yellow, I'm going to wash my brush by dipping it in the water, not stirring it. I'm just going to dip it and then wipe it clean on my paper towel. You don't want to stir the water up too bad because then the water gets super nasty and it's not as good for cleaning brushes. Next I'm going to add another primary color. This time I'm going to use the color blue. So now I'm adding blue to my primary color sphere. I'm just going to add it into the pattern. You can make your patterns however you really want to. Then I'm going to clean my brush up by dipping it in the water and wiping it clean on my paper towel to get ready for my third and final primary color. Next up is the color red. I'm just going to go in there and add it to a couple areas to finish off my first sphere, my primary color sphere. It's time to learn. Paint one sphere in with secondary colors. You can mix the secondary colors by combining two primary colors together. The secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. The first secondary color I'm going to use is orange. I'm going to do an orange by pulling some yellow out on my palette and then adding just the tiniest of bits of red. Red is really, really strong pigment, so you don't need too much of it. So now I'm just going to add some orange to my second sphere. I'm going to lay this out in kind of a pattern too, and I'm going to use all the orange I'm going to use before I go on to my next secondary color. Next up, I'm going to mix some purple. I'm going to mix purple by first putting some blue down and then just a little bit of red. Some people might even think it looks kind of black, and some people use it as a black actually, but it's just purple. It's just really, really dark. So now I'm just going to lay down some purple into my second sphere's pattern. Next, I'm going to mix some green by combining yellow and blue. You need just a little bit more yellow than blue to get the green to look right. Then I'm going to fill it in my sphere's pattern. That looks pretty nice. Yep, got the primary and the secondary spheres done. Now it's time to move on to shades and tints. It's time to learn. Paint one sphere in using shades of colors. Shades are adding a little black in with a color. You can shade on your surface of your painting. That's called wet on wet when you do that. Or you could mix a little black in with your color on your palette too. It really doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter if you want to use primaries or secondaries or whatever color, so long as you're shading it. Color your last sphere in with tints of colors. 
so you can make a tint of color by adding white to it. The trick to tinting something is you're basically using white and you add just tiny bits of color to the white as you tint. That way uh, you don't get too dark too fast because you can always make it darker but it's really hard to make something lighter once it's too dark. And there you have it. I've got all of my color schemes and patterns in but now that I'm done with those, I'm going to do one last touch to my painting. It's time to learn. Lastly, I'm going to outline my contour lines and spheres. I'm going to outline my contour lines and spheres by using the side of my brush and a little bit of black. I'm just going to carefully paint around the outlines and contour lines to make my spheres pop out. It also kind of cleans up my painting in case I like accidentally paint it into a different color or something. It just makes it look like it's finished then. It's also really good practice to practice drawing straight lines with paint. It's a bit of a challenge so you're just gonna have to be patient with yourself if it doesn't work out right away. And there you have it. My four different spheres using four different color themes. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there. What's for lunch?